to really welcome everyone coming out today for this fantastic performance. I'm going to allow a lot of the more specifics with regard to the play and the welcoming for Laura Rivka Isaacs, who is a director of early childhood and a star amongst all the students in the school. But I wanted to make sure we started with a more formal welcoming and a little bit of a Tvar Torah. The beginning of this week's Parsha, you guys listening? Perfect. The beginning of this week's Parsha, we have a time when Avma Vinu is deciding he needs to find a wife for Yitzchak. He wants someone that's going to marry his son. So he turns to somebody who's been there for him every single day. So he turns to Eliezer and he says, I want you to go and find a wife for my son. And Eliezer says, you know what? Avram, you got it. Avram says, you know what, Eliezer? I, I, I need to make sure. And he takes the point to say, Eliezer, here's what I want you to do. Even I'm saying this, he says, to make sure, take your hand, and, and I want you to, to give me your hand. And I want you to swear to me. And tell me that by Hashem, you are going to make sure not to take a daughter from the Kananim, but rather this type of daughter you're going to take. Wait a second. Eliezer has been Avram's right-hand man throughout. Avram was one of the wealthiest people that existed. Billions of dollars in fortunes. And Eliezer has been his CEO throughout. Avram trusted him with everything. And now he's going to make him swear? What's so different now than with all the wealth and all of the riches that Avram had? You know what the answer is? The answer is that when it comes down, when it comes to the things that are most important, when it comes to making sure that we have a beautiful family that we're going to be making sure to always share a deep right Torah, when it comes to making sure that we're doing the right mitzvot and mitos, that's the priority in our lives. So today, or every day, your parents made the decision that we're going to help be that foundation. We're going to help make sure you know what to do, how to speak, how to act with each other. And for the parents, it's that investment that you've made in us that we very truly value and cherish. That it's just appropriate that as we're leading up towards Thanksgiving, a holiday of Hakarat HaTov, of recognizing and saying thank you. So we do thank you for the investment you made in us. And how better to represent it, and how better to reflect, than to go back to the basics, to the ABCs. So at this point, without any further ado, I'm going to ask Moripka to, to more formally welcome, thank the teachers who have worked so hard, so long, and working with the students, really investing in them, creating that foundation, that love for Torah, the skills they're going to need to be lifelong citizens. And, uh, and I will more formally thank them afterwards. Lord, thank you. So welcome, everybody. It's wonderful to see everybody, and it's wonderful to be able to celebrate this milestone. The words that bubble up inside of me are, Hodu Lashem Kitov, Ki Leilam Pastel. What a wonderful period of time it is now. We are so grateful that we've come to this moment. And, and I think about what more appropriate holiday could we connect that feeling of gratitude than Thanksgiving. Because to really, to really appreciate and to, to, to understand where we're standing today, you have to have gratitude. You have to understand from where we're coming from. And the teachers, and not just the teachers, the children, have worked really, really hard to get to this point. You know, reading is not simple. It's not simple and it's not easy. It takes determination. It takes practice. It takes work from the parents' part. So really, I feel like we are very grateful and we're very happy to be at this point. And we really, uh, we really want to thank you for coming here. And we want to thank the children and everybody for everything that they do. And hold l'shem kitov kilev kasto. May we continue to see tremendous success and growth within our children. Welcome everyone to my place to celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. We have been learning about early America and the very first Thanksgiving celebration. 
So I want to be able to thank Vitsal and his staff for making sure our team. I want to thank Prince and Jim and the rest of the security team who keep us safe every single day. I want to make sure to, to thank or Shane or Debbie or Mazal, who not only made all the brochures, help scheduling everything that takes place. So thank you very much. <laughs> Want to thank the thank the supporting cast, or Shana, or Erica, or Dahlia, who really. I want to make a special thank you to Mrs. Solomon, who really helped give us some gifts. We do have some gifts for the teachers of Ms. Solomon. We have the gift for you, but yours is not ready yet today because for all the performances you're going to be doing us for this year, we're going to keep making sure it is expansive and expanding in that regard as well. For the classroom teachers, really want to take it for, again, not just for today, but in general. And I think it's going for all of us, right? What do we have to say to all of our teachers? Thank you. It's not just me. But this is specifically, and I'm speaking on behalf of the PTA, really want to, to really recognize and thank for Heather, for Rachel, and our friends. little gifts to help show our appreciation, to help welcome, embellish, whether it's your Thanksgiving table or your Shabbat table. Either way, but a little something that you can uh, remember this constant appreciation that we have for you. Enjoy that. And obviously, we want to thank everyone for coming out. I'm about to turn the floor over to more Heather. But before I do that, we had an amazing audience, not just of parents and grandparents but all of our nursery, kindergarten, and first graders. At this point, we're going to ask all of the students who joined us today. There's a lot more learning that we have to do today and to continue until we get to Thanksgiving. So we're going to ask nursery to please stand up and start walking out with the photos.